What's up, beautiful people? Welcome back to Star Sister Oracle. My name is Miche. Thank y'all so much for joining me here today. I am so excited to give this collective new moon reading. This is for all signs. This is for all of us, okay? I have been pulling cards this whole week, sort of, on my Instagram. So if you guys definitely want to sort of get some messages, and I'm just like a writer, so I'm always kind of sharing my insights that I'm having about you guys, about myself and sharing. And so definitely have a look at my Instagram. Please like, share and comment under this video. If it resonates, please screen record and share and tag your girl on Instagram. Okay, because we're trying to get the subscribers up. Love y'all. So let's jump right into it. I already done prayed. I already done asked what's, what's up. Okay. And what's up is a lot of us are tr hiding our true selves. We're putting on masks. And this is really interesting because I was just watching um, the People's Oracle, Dana, um, talk about perform per us being performative and authentic, right? And she said, of course, like, you can't ask people to be authentic for like all day, every day. It's too much. She said to ask everybody to do that would be asking everybody to walk around naked. Like, stop it. We have to all perform in, in a sense. Um, part of it is survival. Part of it is, hey, let, I need to show you guys that I'm one of you. So let me, you know, I'm a natural. So let me let y'all know. You know what I mean? I'm a spiritualist. So let me let y'all know. I burn Palo Santo, right? Things like that. But what, what's happening here is, yes, of course, there is a need to perform. And then there are spaces where we can be authentic. But what's happening here, what spirit is trying to alert us super heavy is like, what about your dignity, though? What about your dignity? What, what What's the payout here? Like, how many times are you going to play yourself? How many times are you going to minimize yourself? How many times are you going to subscribe to this one identity and say, no, well, then nothing else about myself can be true? Let's read this Oracle card real quick. I'm going to read some of it. Survival is a direct consequence of adaptation. What we call adaptation is not a result of a subtle but constantly constructive change of ourselves, right? So we are constantly constructing change within ourselves. Um, but it seems like what we're doing is making a mockery of it as we strip day by day of our dignity in order to avoid conflict with the world that would spread us apart, right? This is what People's Oracle was talking about. It's like, well, if I don't perform, like you guys might kill me. If I don't perform, you guys might shoot me. If I don't perform, um, you guys might not let me into this job. If I don't perform, uh, you might not see me as desirable, right? People think that some women perform femininity I got dressed up because I feel good today. Um, makeup on, nails, okay? But sometimes we do perform. Like sometimes I am performing femininity. Sometimes I don't feel like shaving my legs. I really don't. I don't feel like shaving under my arms every day. But you know, I go out on a date and then, you know, I have to perform. But it seems like, right, it says we're doing this to avoid conflict or we're doing this to avoid um social castration right we don't want to be outsiders but there has to we have to we, there has to be a point when it's like okay i'm doing too much too much performing and that's what's happening right now and spirit's asking us um this is such a good time to reflect and to ask yourselves these beautiful questions about well why do i feel the need to do this in this space and how long can i put this how long can i keep this up and how much is it wearing away at my mental health how much is it wearing away at my identity who am i actually right so i think that that's why these cards are coming up because spirit's asking us to really sit with um sit with this hold on let me see We survive and bend our knees because we draw out from our laziness, fear, and disgust. We are deluded when we think that we are only sacrificing our pride. We cling to vanity, but we can't afford dignity. Isn't it sad? Um, so yeah, and then this, the, um, the root of sadness and grief is deeper than the skin. Mm. So it's like, it's also not even just, right? It's that performance, right? It's it's deeper than that. It's like, yeah, you, it's like, yeah, I'm just putting on a mask or yeah, it's okay that you said my name wrong. And it's like, no, but that goes deeper than the outside. There's some inner, that there's some inner conflicts that are happening because of your performance. And Spirit's asking us to, to pay attention to that right now during this time, during this new moon. 
and Spirit's asking us to take off the mask. Under masquerade, we have death is the healing. Let that mask go, you know, in the safest way that you can, okay? I'm not saying, you know, just go and, you know, be super naked and authentic on your social media right now or, you know, come out to your family right now. You know, whatever feels safest for you, but there, there is a death happening and the death is healing. And um, the I remember I pulled this card earlier this week. It, so if you did I say this already? I don't remember because I started this video over. Um, but if I didn't say it, I do pull cards and share insights and little little things that are percolating in my little mind in between these readings on my Instagram. So if you guys want to check that stuff out, definitely follow me on Instagram. But what I shared was that this this card, the book said that death of the wounds is not the death of you, right? Death of the mask is not the death of you. Death, death of this performance isn't you dying. You know, and we all, like, I, it is kind of fun. Even when you're dating, like, you know, th this sort of new part of you gets to come out. And there's nothing wrong with that. Again, when does, when does your dignity come into question? When, when does it really become a psychosis even, right? Where you're like, well, who, wait, I can't, I don't know who I am because I'm performing so much. And only you guys can decide how deep this is going, but it's coming up here. So I feel like for many of us, there is a layer here that we need to, you know, we need to stop lying to ourselves about the performances that we put on and how it's um, causing us inner conflict, inner despair and disconnect. Um, okay. What area, what area of your life is most affecting Syria? Let's just talk about this. Yeah, I feel like there's good momentum though for you guys. Actually, no, I'm gonna keep those. I need a bigger table, y'all. Ooh, see? <laughs> okay, I'll do that. I can do that. Yeah, it's like, it's time to position yourself. Seven of Wands at the bottom. It's time for some self-healing. I like the Seven of Wands um, in one of my other decks. Um, and it's kind of, I'm thinking about that picture right now. It's time to, like I said, it's a time to, we're all self-isolating, but it's a time to isolate yourself and really get pensive about the right some of our desires are changing i've been saying that some of our desires are changing so some of our values are changing and then some so then some of our goals are changing and i feel like the page of wands is like sitting there thinking about this new thing that they want and like sometimes that new thing that you want is asking you to take off your mask now it's time to stop lying it's time to stop um wearing this false face it's time to start listening to yourself it's time wheel of fortune right Yeah, it's like, what are you trying to set up now next? And I feel like that, that your new goals are, are going to help you take off this mask, help you reclaim your dignity. I feel called to this Oracle deck right quick, even though I didn't do my other cards. I'm feeling it, I'm feeling it. I just did my nails and like, if I, if I chip them, I'm going to be so annoyed with myself, but like I put on two coats. What do the nail people be doing? Because I'm just like, hey, why does it stay so much longer? Mm. Let's see what this says. We've got spirals of manifestation, y'all. It's funny, I was talking about that on my Instagram a couple days ago. <sighs> Something is coming into being, even if you think it is further away than ever before. How amazing it will seem when what you have been dreaming of falls into place. 
Sometimes when we feel the furthest away from what we want, we are actually closer than ever before. Just one turn on the spiral loop of creation can see your manifestation taking root in the world. You must hold true to your faith and keep working on your progress. Forget about believing it when you are seeing it. Any old soul or young soul can do that. You are braver, bigger, braver, more ancient. You are a bigger, braver, more ancient soul. Okay, I want to get into this message a little later because it is beautiful and it's exactly what I was talking about earlier this week. Um, but I do want to keep talking about this energy. Of I feel like I feel like you guys are moving out of this, or you guys will be probably after the weekend, after you sign of kind of sit in this sort of you know, might feel a little bit dark and you're going to have to honestly be honest with yourself and face judgment and look at yourself in the mirror and ask yourself why you felt like you've had to deny yourself yourself for so long. But you don't have to do that anymore. This is exactly why it's coming up. It's coming up to so that you can not, no longer be in this space, right? Like this is exactly what um, is coming up. Yeah. You guys have been protecting yourself. That's why. Survival, right? Moving on up. I love it. Y'all, this is a lot of wands energy as well. So fiery energy. I don't know if any of y'all have a lot of fire in your chart, but that is definitely coming through with the seven of wands at the bottom of the other shuffle. Um, yeah, it's like you guys, you guys are being defensive. You guys are protecting yourself. And that's fair absolutely fair but i don't think that you guys need that protection anymore tell me more spirit Ooh. why don't they need that anymore why can they come out of that why is it safe now, why is it safe now? Mm. beautiful one more beautiful <laughs> yeah some of you guys might be healing healing from some sort of partnership either with your mother your father I felt some mother energy to be honest during my shuffle felt like somebody was healing some stuff with their mother healing some abandonment with their mother healing some uh, <laughs> you keep expecting stuff from her and she keeps knocking over the cups and keeps coming in your house disrupting stuff keeps coming in the house and judging how you parent keeps coming in the house and just tearing your shit up tearing up a piece okay it's with this two of cups and this three of swords but then we've got the eight of cups coming at the end there which is like you know that this is no longer fulfilling you know that pretending is no longer fulfilling you know that pretending isn't even getting you the results that you want like you're pretending and you still ain't getting what you want <laughs> like what's the girl let me just let me just take this weight off let me just heal from this. You know, it's, it, this feels like the release of expectations about a partnership. You keep getting your, you, you keep hurting yourself. Like, stop it. It's just, you know, at, at one point it's just like uh, masochism and you like pain because you know it's not emotionally fulfilling and you're like, okay, I know better. I mean, let me go get better. Beautiful. Let's see what else is coming up. It. Sometimes I like to, because sometimes in cards, especially this deck, like it, these cards are so thick. Actually, you know, I'm gonna use a different deck. Matter of fact, Oh, I know what I want to ask because there's a lot of Neptune transits right now. So what are we a little bit elusive about, Spirit? Where in our lives are, do we need to see things for what they truly are? What in our lives is sort of mysterious and... Okay. Uh, tell me more about this Four of Cups. could be again like this 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 relationship this dynamic they could there could be some new offers yeah there could be some communication coming in and 
tell me, uh, let me see. Hold on, y'all. Tell me why we're not seeing it. Advice. Mm. Okay, so. All right, I guess we have a fourth. Um, so four of cups is the first card out of the deck. So yeah, it's like, so I asked what, what illusions, like what are we not seeing clearly? And hold on, is this a, is there an offer we're ignoring or an offer that we should be ignoring? An offer we're ignoring or an offer we should? Well, this could be different for so many of you, right? There's so many energies, so I'm not going to sit up here and be like, yeah, there's an offer, girl, and you need to take it, right? Because so for, for some, for others of you, it's like there's an offer and it's not, it's a distraction and it's, you know, binding and it's not a contract that you want. So please use caution. But right now, who I am speaking to are people who are ignoring a sincere offer. This is a sincere offer clarified because I clarified it with the King of Cups and he's emotionally sound and he came up in the upright and he's meditative and he seems very sweet. Ace of Cups. He seems very sweet. He's someone's trying to offer a, a place for healing. This could be a father figure. Um, like I said, I was picking up very much on a mother maternal energy in the beginning. So I don't, maybe this is your father trying to like, uh, mend this, this dynamic that you have with your mother. Maybe y'all are getting into fights and quarantine with your family. Um, but yeah, there's this, there's this amazing burst of communication. Um, maybe, I don't know if someone's father wants to see them or wants to heal a relationship, but you're not looking and I, and for the, whoever I'm speaking to, um, you need to take this as a sincere offer. Um, tell me more. How can, let me, let's get in a business for a minute here, spirit. Cause I want to make sure I'm talking to the right people. And you're not taking the offer because you're trying to intellectualize everything. You're trying to rationalize everything. And I said this on my Instagram the other day. Stop trying to know every damn thing. Stop trying to know everything before you can move into it. Of course, we like to know people's intentions, right? Of course. Um, but sometimes we can over-rationalize. We can over-complicate. Uh, what is your spirit telling you? What is your intuition telling you? Like ego, is a, ego wants to know, um, but spirit allows. Knight of Cups, some of you guys might have an actual love offer. This might be a, a romantic partnership, and this is good because he came out as the king of cups at first, but, you know, they're trying to, somebody's trying to tell me love is here as well. Um, but, yeah, there's two aces as well. Ace of Swords just wanted to pop out. So, yeah, someone's, like, wanting to build, like, build with you, stimulate your mind, and offer you some emotional... Um, well, you know what I mean? Like this sort of hardiness is kind of the feeling that I'm feeling like support, support, even though I don't have a king of cups out here, but it feels very supportive. This, this, this king of cups, who's trying to offer you something. Um, why are they ignoring this? That's cause that's how I'll simplify it. That's how I know who exactly who I'm talking to. Why, why are they not? Why are they not? Explain this king of swords. Why are they not um, entertaining this offer, spirit? Somebody may have like literally sent you a gift or a letter and you're just like, no, like I don't want to pay attention to that girl, sir. <laughs> better take this sincere love offer. You know, and, I, and like I said, familial love, like a sincere love offer is never just romantic, guys. <laughs> Um, people's Oracle just said, and I love this and I sent it to, I sent it to someone and it was just like, love is radical honesty and acceptance. If this person is coming up to you with radical honesty and acceptance, or you know what I mean? They're trying to, this is the best of their capacity because God, it's hard. Okay. It's hard to be completely honest. And I'm going to, I'm going to uh, link that, uh, that conversation with people's Oracle because she says that the reason that 
radical honesty is so hard is because we're afraid of what our truth will get our like what kind of response we will get from the truth that we share right we're so scared of the of the response that we'll get when we are so radically honest about ourselves because we're wanting acceptance but sometimes that's not always promised so i feel like you know there was some sort of you know disagreement here right we had that two of cups and three of cups come up there might have been some betrayal or just some talking behind people's backs or you know whatever it might have been I ain't gonna get in y'all business like that. Um, but you guys aren't taking this offer. Hold on, let me read this card. You or this person may have felt used. You guys, you, this person may have felt like a leech. Hmm. They may have used you as a crutch. And it really doesn't matter. It doesn't matter if you were the one that was getting used because as this book beautifully says, I'm using the Dark Mirrors deck for this because I wanted to understand like what's 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 keeping you from accepting this offer, right? Like let's get down to it. It says, um, da, 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 hold on. <laughs> it doesn't matter if we are the victim or the perpetrator as poison is shared equally. One gets the pain, another one gets the advantage, but the toxic part, they both get Woo! fully a parasite a leech kills itself as much as it kills the host i love this damn card i remember this card it kills the leech as much as it kills the host my god and they probably know that they they're coming in here king of cups or at least with this energy, at least with this sort of emotional understanding of what they did and how they've affected you and themselves. So if they have this level of understanding, if they are really coming in like the King of Cups with emotional maturity and responsibility, okay? If they're coming in with some emotional responsibility and they were saying, I understand that I was sat sucking your soul away. I understand that I was taking you away from the things that you love. I understand that I was a financial liability. I understand. And I want to correct that. I'm coming in here radically honest and ready to accept myself, accept what I did. I'm ready to, I faced my own judgment. Obviously this person has faced their own judgment and they're ready to, they, you don't come up like the king, you, he didn't come up as a page of cups. All right. I, I'm not going to get, keep digging into that. But um, I feel that the advice here was six of swords walk into this new chat healing healing through conversation swords right that's our intellect that's our that's our communication right gemini season so the advice is to move into less troubled waters now if i like, like i said if these are if these waters are choppy if this person is coming in like a page of cups or they're coming in very immature and placing blame right because we're all about accountability round here okay just saw 2333. Um, if they're not about, you know, accountability, then that's not smooth, uh, smooth tempered waters, right? I feel like spirits, like if it seems like a calm environment, right? King of cups coming in calm, but also, but also coming in quite, quite quickly with an apology, quite quickly with some emotional honesty, offering ace of cups offering a new beginning hey for some of you don't i ain't gotta tell y'all if y'all okay don't don't come up in my mentions and then for some reason we got a seven of pentacles that wanted to pop out while after i was done shuffling sometimes i keep my hands going um yeah putting in time and work into this relationship Wheel of Fortune. This feels really beautiful, guys. This feels like new growth. Look at that. Look at that. Uh, it's like, it's like new life. 
is coming from the soil like and he can feel it like it's almost like reiki it's like he can feel the swell of growth so if you if, follow your intuition i feel like you will be able to feel that this person has grown you'll be able to feel their sincerity you'll be able to feel that they're really here to support you now right whether this is a father figure or a love interest And I like here that she's sort of balancing on this wheel. It's like, hey, I'm ready to, I'm here, I'm here to play, play with you and dance and make sure that we find equilibrium here, right? That's what you have to be able to do when you're, when you're gardening. You have to listen to the soil and say, oop, too much water. Okay, oop, oop, oop. okay, let's, let's find our balance again. Yeah, it feels like a, a new season here for this relationship. Beautiful. Yeah. And, and listen, this is, like I said, there's a lot of Neptune transit. So some of us are going to be experiencing things where we're like, Ooh, yay. Da, 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 offers all around, offers all around. And it's like, some of those offers aren't meant to be taken. And you guys have to just decide, um, what offers are sincere. You have to, have to, have to use discernment because the devil works, baby. He be working. <laughs> he going to play too. <laughs> <sighs> All right, I think we're done with this energy. Yeah. I think I'm gonna end this. And I might do another one, and see if there's some other, I feel like there's some other story that wants to be told. But yes, share if you feel like that situation resonates with somebody in your life. Again, it's time to take back our dignity and it's safe now to do so. You know, there's a shift happening right in our world. It's like, man, like maybe you, you don't, right? You don't got to go back to work and you don't have to, you know, put your hair on and you don't have to put your eyelashes on. Like you don't have to perform if you don't want to, or you get to choose how you show up. Really? That's really what I want to say. You get to choose how you show up now. Death is healing. Let me, let this part of me die. What part of me needs to die? Manifestation. Spirit said, don't forget about this card. All right. Somebody's trying to manifest something. All right. Now, I don't want to read all of this, but I will. I will. Um, and if you guys don't want to sit here through these last three minutes, um, please uh, let me know how these energies are playing out for you. Stay tuned. Um, I will definitely be having some readings during the eclipse, eclipses that are happening in June 5th. And I will be having videos during every moon cycle. I haven't, I didn't want to do monthlies. I've just been tired. So y'all are getting it when it comes. And I don't want to inundate y'all. But let's get into this manifestation, baby. Number 18 reduces to nine, which is about, nine is always about um, individualism, right? This is the, 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 the will and the power of the individual. So the creative rebellious path of love, I'm holding this up for y'all for just a second. The creative rebellious path of love moves in spirals. It is not linear. Sometimes our mind decides that the way forward is to take clear steps from one point to the next logical point. However, there is a genius within that can guide us on an alternative route. If there is an unnecessary pothole or delay in the typical linear path of progression and the curved loop in the path will be quicker, more fun, and more beautiful, then why not allow yourself to be guided by that path? This can happen through trust and wisdom rather than rigid adherence to what on the surface appears to be the logical progression. I love this. This came up during the Reiki, um, Reiki vision boarding that I did with Sister Shaman last Friday. We're about to do, excuse me, another Reiki, like a beautiful session um today tonight i want to just show y'all this card because it's exactly this and the fact that i was tapping into this last week and that's funny because i did have a girlfriend tell me she felt a shift on on friday <laughs> i did find the card y'all and it's so beautiful this is from my star seed oracle deck deck hands on deck
the card was I remember soul pa soul plan the fated life versus the destined life how beautiful which basically talked about the fact that you decided already the life that you wanted before you got here and so are you going to step into that destiny life that life that, that doesn't have a blueprint or are you going to stay on the road that this society has put you on that your parents have put you on right so i feel like that's exactly what you know are you this can through trust and wisdom rather than rigid adherence to what's on the surface that appears to be logical progression, right? Are you going to do what's logic, what's logically set out for you here because college says, because society says, because your parents says, right? Or are you going to step into your destiny, which you decided before this, which you're trying to remember? And some of us have. I remember what I signed up for. All right, let's keep going. You are in the midst of a spiral of manifestation. Something is coming into being, even if you think it is further away than ever before. How amazing it will seem when what you have been dreaming of falls into place. Suddenly, what you have been thinking of creating will plunk into your reality, seemingly out of nowhere. Yo, I said this this week. <sighs> anyway, y'all need to follow me on Instagram because it was just around the bend just out of view on the spiral of manifestation and you could not see it coming in truth it was coming to you all along look at them spirals baby the oracle has a message for you sometimes when we feel the furthest away from what we want we are actually closer than ever before just one turn on the spiral loop of creation can see can of creation can see your manifestation taking root in the world. You must hold true to your faith and keep working on your progress. Forget about believing it when you are seeing it. Any old soul or young soul can do that. You are a bigger, braver, more ancient soul. You have enough cups, cups, that's some Jewish stuff, y'all. You got enough in your bag to believe it so that you can see it sooner, bigger, and brighter. Do not give in to those who tell you it should have happened already or that you have failed. They are just suffering from a lack of patience and understanding. Amen. As well as an ignorant assumption that their notion of timing is somehow superior to the greater divine timing at play. You think your, time, your, your clock is better than divine's clock? Better than God's clock? Okay. Be in good will with yourself and the universe. All is unfolding perfectly, whether you feel it right now or not. This oracle also brings a beautiful message to you about the perfect synchronicities that are taking place in your life. You have started to notice these already. When we live from the heart and honor our creative center and choose unlikely but lovingly rebellious ways to be in the world, we will begin to notice the synchronicities every day. It is as though the universe is speaking to us intimately on all matters, which of course it is. This oracle reminds you that there is no point rushing to the bus stop if you are way too early. If you are way too early, you are wasting your time. Better to live your life at a more appropriate pace and get there at the right time. Yes. I was doing a reading for someone and she was talking about, well, what do I do now? And the car that we pulled, it was like, enjoy the sacred gap. It was like, girl, this is exactly where you're supposed to be. Enjoy this. Like, stop trying to rush to the bus. The bus ain't there because you're not where you need to be, right? You need to, you need to rest and, and eat some delicious food and get intimate with your husband and play with your children and play with yourself. Okay. Um, self, pleasure, advocacy every day all day i don't if you're new to this i'm not okay let me stop um this oracle brings the oracle reminds you that there is no point rushing to the bus stop okay we said that you will attract what you want and need so much more enjoyably if you relax and deal with the here and now you are getting the tools that you need in order to so that when you get on the bus it's like oh cool so then you're, you're like you're serving people on the bus but it's like yo you might need to learn a new skill skill or you might need to have a new insight or you might need to have you know some sex that, that blows your mind for a second and you can be like damn now I like a conversation that you need to have before you get to the bus stop there's something that you need before you get there or, or else it would have materialized for you already 
Remember too that your life path is unfolding in harmony with the path of others, Ashe. You will meet with each other for the greatest benefit when you trust in the flow of the one great creative spiral upon which this galaxy spins. Everything is ultimately in harmony with everything else to fulfill the great big creative intent of the supreme creative force of love, right? Like you are here as an instrument of the divine, of the, the life force that brought us all here. And so it is trying to find expression. Like it is going to, tr to move through you. You're in, uh, you are included in this creative force of love. How lucky. The healing process, guys. So <clears throat> say to yourself, spirals of creation, spirals of light, you bring my manifestation to life. I trust in your wisdom and in your grace. Help me be wise and keep the faith. Repeat as needed. Love and light to you guys. I love y'all so much. I'm so proud of you. I'm so proud of you. If you cannot remember your destined path, do some meditations before you go to sleep. Ask your angels and your ancestors and your divine benevolent and honorable ancestors and spirit guides, um, what is my soul's purpose? And just ask yourself repeatedly, and you know, don't act, don't expect it in an instant. Like, let it be a journey. Have the endurance. Okay, it's not about um, uh, quick satisfaction. Okay, this is this is a divine plan, and so it's gonna. It might take some time to recover that de destined path. All right, love you guys so much. I will see y'all on the next one.